800. Liberal Finance Minister Bill Morneau tabled his third budget yesterday. Money for science, closing the pay gap between men and women, and looking into a national drug program. What does it mean for your wallet, though? Hmm? Let's ask someone who actually attempted to read the actual budget yesterday. Nick Moraitis is a tax partner with Fuller Landau. You hear him on CJ80 on Monday evenings. Morning, Nick. Good morning, Andrew. So Thanks for having the me. Actual, you're welcome. Thanks for joining us. What uh, The budget document, like how many pages is that, the actual uh, I was reading 369 pages yesterday, oh, Andrew. You. And I didn't fall asleep. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> What's your overall impression of the budget? Uh, I think uh, they took a very muted approach this year. Uh, it's a quiet budget. Uh, they, I think they more know had enough uh, excitement last year, so uh, things were pretty... Uh, um, not that much exciting on this one. There's some spending initiatives, as you mentioned, uh, but in terms of taxes and how it's going to affect uh, you and me, uh, there doesn't seem to be too much. For personal uh, taxes, individuals, there's no tax changes, so your rates aren't going up or down. Uh, they didn't cancel any tax credits. Um, they didn't um, improve something called the, the uh, Working Income Tax Benefit. That They first changed its name to the uh, Canada Workers' Benefit mm -hmm. and increased some dollars. This is for workers who earn uh, a low amount of uh, employment income, so maybe part-time, maybe minimum wage. However, here in Quebec, uh, it's administered by Quebec, so I'm not sure how... Uh, that's going to translate into seeing something on your Quebec tax return that is really being funded by the federal government. So we have to wait for the Quebec budget. Uh, they're, they're talking about this wage gap uh, in in federally regulated sectors, which would include broadcasting. Uh, and in banking. Uh, and banking, uh, banking so. I think, is some of those industries. There's, uh, they're basically, it's, it's been a mantra now to uh, equalize pay. I don't understand why there's these differences still. And they're in, introducing right. that, how it's going to affect you and I yet. I'm not quite sure, or our colleagues, uh, but um, that is uh, a measure that is being uh, improved. And same as with a lot of uh, gender issues, uh, one that pricked my interest was there's a women's entrepreneur strategy to, to uh, improve uh, access to, be, to businesses for uh, women who do want to get into it, who don't have the resources, perhaps, or the capital. And, and uh, yeah, well, I'm, I'm interested in how that would how that would work. So, say my uh, colleague uh, Sarah DeHay decides that she wants to open, a, I don't know, a cookie shop or uh, or become a consultant or whatever. Is there a, a way that she can apply for this money? Well, this is where this is the the details that we're going to be finding out uh, once we know exactly uh, which uh, uh, agency within the government or agencies within the government that are going to be working together. But the idea is to uh, be able to mentor. The idea is to provide them with data and knowledge. Um, Canada has also said that, and, and they do say, that they're the largest procurer of services in Canada. So you know, maybe they will uh, bring in and say, okay, a, uh, a business uh, headed and operated by uh, a, a female will have a, a priority, will, will encourage to buy things from them. Ah. Uh, the, and, and then the question of access and capital, and maybe working through the government agencies such as the Business Development Bank, et cetera. So as to how we're, we're going to do that, that I don't have uh, this morning, but uh, that is a, an initiative that hopefully will turn out and be uh, interesting. Yeah, but so in theory, that would, that would I guess, uh, and, you know, encourage uh, companies to promote women to higher levels. And they, yeah, there's, yeah. I think there's a similar rule about that as, uh, within larger corporations, maybe accessing executive positions, accessing uh, becoming board of directors for large corporations as well. Uh, these are very targeted measures, and they're spending measures, um, and how they work sometimes uh, is, is a little It takes years to figure out right. if the program is working and is being efficient or not. So, so Nick, can you tell me, uh, on a budget of $338.5 billion, <laughs> yeah. uh, an $18 billion deficit, is that acceptable? Is that uh, is that too much? Is it, it depends on on where you lean on the political uh, spectrum. Um, they're spending about twenty billion over the five years that this budget is, is being forecasted on uh, to bring back our deficits up to the nineteen billion. I think they're looking at nineteen point four billion for this uh, fiscal year, and then it falls about a billion or a billion and a half a year for over the next five years. Um, they're uh, so they're spending about twenty billion more uh, because of this budget. Uh, some people and some commentators already think that's way too much, especially since the economy is supposedly doing well. And according to the uh, one, I don't know if you took economics 101 back in school, but you're supposed to be uh, having surpluses now because the economy is doing yeah, well. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. 
And there's other commentators who are very concerned that the budget isn't really uh, adding any cushions for if the NAFTA negotiations with the U.S. don't go well. Right. Uh, they're not uh, forecasting a recession between now and those five years, which can uh, take these uh, budget number deficit numbers and double or triple them overnight. And there's, so there's a concern on that uh, as to we're in a rosy, supposed rosy environment, but we're still spending more than we earn. So. Well, Nick, thanks very much for your time. You've made it uh, very easy to understand. Okay. Appreciate you it. You guys take care. Thank you very much. Yeah, Nick Bye-bye. Moretis of uh, Fuller Landau. 715, the Rendezvous Habitation with more than uh, 200 exhibitors, interior and exterior designers, and an amazing energy-efficient house. March 1st to 4th at Place Forzani in Laval. Hello, Leslie. Hello.